Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and everything about Excel. All right, today I'm going to show you how um, you can do a single column next to a stacked column. So here's the use case that a user sent a question on on YouTube. Is there any way to compare a stacked column to a non-stacked column? Example, I have a sales quota bar that I want to have on the left side. Um, it's made up of two different types, like let's say coffee and tea, uh, and uh, the solid quota number next to it. Uh, on the left, the bottom axis should be months, and uh, the user, Adam, couldn't figure out how to do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you quickly how you can do that yourself. All right, so here's our data. Uh, as you can see, what we first want to do is we need to create some padding columns because what we'll have to do is we're going to put uh, sales quota on one axis and we're going to put tea and coffee on a secondary axis. Easiest way to do that is to make a uh, chart area or a chart range of data. And I'm just going to insert two different columns in here and hit insert. Now the reason we need two is we need this to be able to slide over to the side um, of the left of the tea and coffee columns. So these are going to be stacked into one. We need the left to slide over um, the sales quota data on the primary column instead of being centered, which would be right on top of tea and coffee. We need it to move to the left a couple of columns and we'll show you how to uh, adjust for that after. All right, so now that we've created a couple of columns, let's call one uh, filler one and filler two. And those are our two different data series that we're going to need. Now, let's go ahead and highlight this range of data. Go up to your insert ribbon, go over to the column button, and let's just do a standard 2D clustered column chart. Let's pull this over into the screen so that you can see it. Now, uh, next, you can see our data doesn't quite look like what we had before. Remember, we had months on the bottom of our chart. To do that, we want to select our chart. We want to go up to our design ribbon in the chart tools area, and we want to do switch row and column. And so instead of the data going along the row, it's going to see it as column data. And uh, looking a little closer, we've got January, February, and March down on the very bottom. And uh, what we next, what we want to do is we want to move these right two tea and coffee to the secondary axis. You can do this by clicking on the chart and then double clicking on any one of those series. And you can see the format data series will have secondary axis as one of the choices. And you can see we've moved one of those to the secondary axis, but we need to move coffee now to the secondary axis. If I double click on that, there's the secondary axis in my format data series and click on close. Now uh, we have a um, our first sales quota is on the primary axis and then the tea and coffee data points are on the secondary. We want to stack those secondary axes data points and you can only do a stacked or a side by side or clustered column. You only get one choice per axis for any column type data that you're going to do. So uh, click anywhere in the chart, then click, one, click on one of those two series, tea or coffee. Go up to, once again to your design ribbon. Find the change chart type button in the type group. And we want to change that type to a stacked column chart. Click on OK. And you can now see that we have our uh, stacked column chart next to our um, sales quota single column and uh, looking pretty good. Um, however, we have a couple of issues. First, um, you'll see that they're overlapped a little. Once again, we have two filler columns because we wanted to push it the column over to the left, uh, but uh, our secondary axis is now, um, those col stacked columns are covering our primary axis. So what we want to do is select anywhere in your chart, double click on one of those two uh, series format series data and we want to change this gap width percentage to about 350 um, percent and click on close and you can see that it has shrunk that column or that stacked column down to about the size of what you saw on the primary axis let's click away you can see there's really not much of a gap you can gonna want to play with it based on your chart size uh, and, and to find out what the right value of that gap width is going to be. All right, last couple of cleanup things for our chart. We're going to go ahead and select the chart. We're going to go ahead and select then this legend. And we want to then once again select filler one and hit your delete key 
Do the same thing again, select the legend, select the legend entry, hit your delete key. Finally, we want to delete this secondary access column or secondary vertical access uh, values. You can see they're not equal. One has 400, one has 300. So to just get rid of this, just select it and hit your delete button. And we now have all of our data on the same um, uh, values. Over here, it's all been graduated to 400. Now there are um, a couple of options if you don't like doing that and you want to leave the secondary access numbers over there, you probably want to change the values to equal 400 as a maximum and zero as a minimum. The only issue that I might have with this chart and why I suggest uh, you may want to uh, check out the links down below. There could be some other chart types that you'd like to do, uh, perhaps adding a line in here or make this a bullet graph. Uh, you'll notice that January and February and March is the center of that column and the stacked one is going to be right on the center and your sales quote is going to be pushed over to the left because we are um, faking Excel out a little bit here with this uh, technique. So that's probably the only downfall I might add. Uh, so maybe a line would suffice for sales quota um, for both. Uh, it might be tricky that people don't understand that it's a combined, like let's say this is combined drink sales might be the only option that uh, people might say, wait a minute, is that just the sales quota for coffee if you had a line in one of these sections or just the sales quota for tea? Uh, so not a horrible chart, but uh, that's how you go ahead about and do that in Excel. Uh, once again, uh, please subscribe to this video channel so that you're sure to get the next video delivered directly to your inbox. Also, turn on your notifications, the little bell icon, uh, so you do receive that notification. Head on over to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you can download the sample file as well as find other great tutorials and sample files. Thanks and have a great day.